Star Citizen has three forms of fighting. Long range, the jabber, mid range, the funnel, and close range, the knife fighter. This video is intended for intermediate and advanced pilots. If any of this is foreign to you, I recommend checking my guide's playlist linked below, as you will have plenty of videos to get to this level. During these presentations, I will have an input display on the bottom center of the screen. The left side shows my strafes, and the right side shows my pitch and yaw. I also have two sliders, left for reverse and right for forward. There will also be text on the side, letting you know what maneuvers I'm doing at any given time. Long range combat happens within 1,300 to 800 meters. The jabber's job is to control distance, prioritizing staying just outside of weapon range and slowly picking apart the enemy shield. This requires precise control of your speed and a strong understanding of vector manipulation. An example of vector manipulation would be using your rear thrusters to push the pip in a different direction or using something like the circle strafe. So we're going to talk about long range and what we're trying to do is maintain about 1,200 meters. Uh, that's our safe distance. At that range, either the opponent or I could really apply damage. So it comes down to who kind of manages that distance a little bit better. The objective is to play with those distances. I got to watch the speed on this, right? So if I look at the meters and I'm negative, I know I'm getting away. If I'm positive, I'm getting closer. So I have to focus mostly on that and not the range itself and just kind of go on visual on the range. So here I know he's kind of staying in the same range. We're kind of baiting out shots here. He's going to start applying. And then when I feel that I have a tactical advantage with bullets, I'm going to go ahead and try to close the range. Right here, I got some good shots. I feel confident in that. I'm going to use it to push. Here, I'm going to reload and save it. And then I'm going to apply damage and backpedal out. And this backpedal corkscrew reverse is so that we can stay evasive on the on the retreat and make them waste shots. And you see how we got them to use some shots there and not be effective? That's when we capitalize on it, push in, do some damage. Now, this isn't a good way to sustain fire and damage throughout combat, but it's a good way to pick up players and a great way to engage in 2v1s. Mid-range combat happens within 800 to 400 meters. The funnel is all about circle strafes and staying within a range where you can apply damage but prioritizing creating inversions and different forms of separation patterns to control the fight. An example of a separation pattern could be an S-wave pattern or a reverse corkscrew. And just for clarification, a circle strafe is just making circles in front of people. But when there is a high change in relative distance, this is when we refer to a circle strafe as either a corkscrew or a reverse corkscrew. And we're trying to fight for, for positional combat. And the way we do that is creating circle strafes. So if I feel that I have a lead on inertia, I'll rotate the angle. Or if I don't have a lead. So here we're kind of tied. I'm going to go the other way, change directions. Again. And it's, it's a constant reversal. So I'll enter an orbit like this, a circle straight pattern. And then when he starts to get shots or I feel he has his nose on me, I'll invert the circle by circle strafing in a different direction. This can also be compensated by adding rear thrust or forward thrust to kind of disengage like that, which allows you to reverse out of combat and puts you back in the outside um, long distance battle. But it's all about having more lead on shots and being able to maintain a sustained fire while they're incapable of doing the same. What I'm going to do now is back off, kind of maintain this range where I feel evasive and kind of come back for another merge. So that I did an inversion. Here I can put pressure. And here I can start doing a reversal to kind of be defensive while applying damage. Close range combat happens within 300 to 100 meters. It is the most aggressive form of combat and is called knife fighting by many in the PvP community. This flight style is all about closing the distance and pip evasion. You have to have a good understanding of vectors and pre-nosing. The objective is to kind of push in and hug him so that he can't get fire on you and being evasive with the pip so that we can keep this close distance and hug them. This comes down to a lot of pre-nose and a lot of anticipating movements of the player. So pre-nosing is the act of coming in sideways basically or drifting into your opponent so that you can obtain an angle before they're able to turn to that angle. So for example, when we're this close, what I might wanna do is before I merge with him, if I feel I have enough vector, I can push sideways 
and I'm already on his rear as he lines up. Here I can do the same. And then again, once I get closer, because you don't want to do it at this range, or you'll give up your back. You want to kind of kite yourself a little bit in, get closer little by little. And then when you feel you have an opportunity, that's when you do a kick and you get around the opponent before he can get his nose on you. That was a good example where I completely came in sideways to get behind him, although he did a good maneuver to get around. There I pre-nosed. A lot of knife fighting comes down to boost management and understanding when and when not to use it. So when you're up against people who kite or they stay mid-range or long range, you have to kind of pick these battles where you feel you have an advantage on inertia and you can kind of push, engage, get closer, use your boost, do some damage, and then get out and reset the fight. In the current flight model, it's impossible to maintain close distance on people that are constantly trying to push away. So you have to know how to manage your throttle properly during combat. Now that you understand all three flight styles, let's look at some examples of their use in an organic fight. So all right, we're gonna start off long distance, kind of get a range for him, a little shot here and there. He wasted all his shots, let's push in. I'm gonna blow past here. Up strafe into circle strafe. Nice applied damage, we're both trading. Now let's push the fight. Getting close to see if he's comfortable there. I got advantage, probably get shield full. Get some throttle back, reverse on him. Keep him long distance, keep his shield down. Long range it again here, bait out his shot. He's out of shots, push back in. And now we finish it with Knife Fight. I got Throttle, he's probably out by now. And Splash. If you have any topics that you would like me to cover, comment down below. Thank you for the support, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.